Well, globally, the recession has taken listed commercial property stocks and hammered them. Cheap financing has dried up and property values are falling. The cost of borrowing has increased significantly and banks have stopped lending. But in South Africa, the sector has proved resilient for a while. However, vacancies inevitably are rising as more businesses fold under the economic pressure of the times. So how is the sector doing at this point in time? That's the question we're asking. And to find out, Kunta got to the largest property stock growth point to explain this. He's at the JSC and he's got more. Thank you, Tembisa. Yes, Growth Point came out with its results today and to shed some light on the sector and the economy, we're going to chat to the CEO, Norbert Sasser. He's here with me. Norbert, let's start off with your results. You've announced a 7.6% distribution. How does it compare historically? Interest a little bit down. Uh, last year we did about 14.4%. Uh, so uh, I think uh, reflective of the economy just in general. Obviously the markets are tough. Uh, uh, our clients uh, who are occupants in our buildings are finding it uh, quite difficult to, uh, you know, to pay the rent. And uh, we've also had maybe a little bit of a disproportionate exposure to some developments, mm -hmm. uh, which we started about two years ago and the market was very bullish. Uh, some of those have come on stream, they complete, and uh, not, a, not all of them are 100% let at the moment. So our vacancy obviously is result of that has, has also gone up a little bit. Is it just purely because of that or did you have a lot of tenants also falling out of business? No, I think it's a bit of a combination. I think it's a combination of uh, the vacancies going up and uh, the, the, the mix of that. Our vacancy has gone up to 5.4% from about 2.9%. It's about a 2.5% increase. And uh, the bulk of the uh, uh, 1.2% 1 .2 of that we would attribute to the development uh, activity. Uh, the balance was just your normal, uh, let's say, deterioration of the market. Uh, we felt the bulk of the movement in the last sort of nine months uh, in the uh, in the office space in fact yeah. uh, retail still holding very steady vacancies there about three uh, to three three point two percent uh, industrials up at about four point four percent but again one needs to put this in context you know globally if you talk about vacancies uh, in, in in Europe if you, for example you know there's a common sort of uh, uh, thread that would say you know if you've got a five percent vacancy in your portfolio it's it's tantamount to be fully to be uh, to be yeah, fully let you know it's not a, it's not a crisis or a big number exactly yeah we think it's going to go up uh, i mean the market is is weak we don't see it turning very quickly we reckon the next 12 months is, is going to be tough property sector lags the general economy a little bit as well so uh, we've got one or two more developments that are coming on in the mm -hmm. next two three months and we see our vacancies peaking maybe up at the six just over the six percent again not uh, not a crisis you've also announced a first for shareholders in the loan stock property sector um, what is that and yeah, why did you I think uh, it's, it's an interesting concept. I don't think it's, uh, it's, it's that unique really, but it is uh, a first for, for the property sector, which is uh, we're effectively giving our shareholders the uh, election to reinvest their distribution uh, into, into new growth point shares. So uh, we're paying out about 820 million rand as a distribution mm -hmm. to our shareholders in September. And uh, we're giving our shareholders the, uh, the opportunity to take that money and to reinvest it back into the company in the form of a, a, a distribution reinvestment alternative. Why? The reason for that really is, I guess, is capital is, is scarce. Uh, debt capital, the banks are, you know, are not lending as easily as they used to. The cost of debt is, is going up, notwithstanding the fact that short-term interest rates are coming down. Uh, the margins that the banks are charging us are significantly higher than what it was a year or two ago. And we, being a property company, we don't fund ourselves on the short, short term. So with Prime coming off, we fund ourselves long-term with long-term interest rates. And those rates haven't actually moved that much. So we're just looking at our overall experience exposure in terms of uh, refinancing of debt that's coming up in the next couple of years, our own aspirations for growth uh, in terms of making further acquisitions and new investments and new developments, and we see that as an, an opportunity to raise some capital uh, to strengthen the balance sheet. Talking about going forward, what's your strategy? I think uh, locally, you know, we, we've been hoping that uh, you know, with, a, with a strong balance sheet that maybe there'd be some really good opportunities in the commercial property market where you might see some distressed selling, be guys who've overgeared themselves, they're finding it difficult to, uh, to pay their, their interest on their debt. And uh, I must say we haven't really seen those distressed sales in the South African market. It's certainly the listed sector is very strong, everybody's well capitalized. There might be some private developers who, who finding thing, times a little bit tough, but we haven't really seen distressed sales. So we're going to continue to look locally for some really good quality investment property uh, maybe with a focus more on the retail side our current portfolio we've got about 12 billion of offices we've got about 10 billion of retail and about 7 billion of industrial so maybe a little bit light on uh, on, on retail so we might be looking
looking for some good retail opportunities. And then offshore, you may be aware that we did do a, uh, make an offshore acquisition uh, in, the in the past couple of months. Uh, we do believe that there's still some good opportunities in the Australian market. We now control a small listed Australian fund. Uh, it is called Growth Point Properties Australia. It's listed as such on the Australian Stock Exchange. And we'd like to, uh, to grow that fund over the next uh, 12 months. Having said that fire sales, distress sales aren't that high, easy to come by, is that an encouraging sign for the economy as a whole? Uh, look, I think the economy is, 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 is hurting. I mean, there's no doubt. You see the GDP numbers, uh, negative GDP growth. You're seeing manufacturing output down 17, 13 odd percent. Uh, you're seeing retail sales down 6, 7, 8, 9 percent. So, you know, there's no doubt that the economy is, is, is tough. But I think where we have been spared maybe in the South African domestic market is that our financial system is still working well. The banks are, there is still liquidity, where in other markets liquidity dried up completely. Yeah. So there was just zero access to funding, zero access to capital. In South Africa, you still got that access. And I think that is, uh, is a major difference why there isn't this distress sort of selling. But deeper down in the economy, uh, things are, are tough. Well, Norbert, thank you very much for your time. You. That was Norbert Sasser, the CEO of Growth Point uh, Property Stock, saying that, well, times are bad, but at least we still have access to funding. Back to studio for now. Thanks, Gunther.